Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus and today I'll show you how to record screen on this tablet. So, to get started, let's pull down the notification panel, find the screen recording toggle, which for me is right over here, and simply tap on it. Now, I did tap on the actual writing, which opens up the settings like this. So from here you can see we have oh, two, I guess, important parts, so a video quality, which I strongly would suggest to keep it at 1080p, otherwise at 720 or 720 will be good for just like saving space, but for 480p just won't cut it in any kind of way, so just stay away from it. And uh, in terms of sound, uh, you have a couple options, you have no sound, media sound or media sound and microphone. Now. If you want to use the last option, uh, do use headphones for this, otherwise you will get an unwanted echo effect where the microphone will be picking up the sound that are coming out of a speaker. Uh, because normally when it records media sound, which is the sound of like some applications, it's not recording the actual speaker. So you could completely mute it and still record the sound of it. Um, but when you use the microphone, it's gonna be picking up whatever is coming out of the speakers if it's loud enough. So therefore, it's going to basically record that sound twice. So use headphones or just try to stay away from you, uh, well, recording both sounds. So from there, I'm going to click on done. And all I need to do now is click on it to start recording. Now, when I'm doing this for the first time, it does give me the pop up that I do need to agree to access a couple different things. So microphone storage and stuff like that, which is uh, all ex expectable, expected. Uh, for instance, storage because it needs to save somewhere, microphone because it does record the sound. And as you can see, once I tapped on it after three seconds, it did start recording. So whatever I will be doing right now will be recorded. You can also tap on a couple of shortcuts right here. So uh, that is just a pointer, I guess, uh, which you can see if it's low enough. I'm not touching it right now. When I touch it, it actually disappears. But when it's hovering, it's instead of that little circle. Uh, now you can also write. So there we go. As you can see, you can write, although blue text wasn't necessarily the best color. Let's see if we can find something a little bit more. There we go. So, uh, as you can see, you can write, and also you can turn on, for instance, something like a camera, uh, which appears here. Which, there we go. You can move that around if you want to. Oops. Just turn off writing, you can disable it, pause the video by tapping on the pause uh, button, which right now, if you want to, you can pause the recording, uh, get somewhere, uh, open up whatever you want, and resume the recording as though, well, no time has passed on the recording, so it will look like, for instance, if you're loading something up, it's gonna look like it just loaded in an instant, which just helps a little bit. And I just dropped a pen, great. Ugh. Okay, so from there, once you're done with recording, all you need to do is tap on that square right over here, which will uh, finish up the recording and save it. Now that recording can be found in your photo gallery right over here, which is automatically playing, as you can see. Now all this is playing and you can see, uh, I just kind of go through. I'm gonna mention one important thing, uh, that screen recording doesn't work in every circumstances. Um, so as an example, if you try to record something like a Netflix, which I am most certain it doesn't work, uh, basically what will happen is, I believe sound is being recorded uh, if you chosen to actually record as, uh, well, system sounds. There we go. Um, but if you decide to, um, well, record it, you will basically have a black screen. Um, Netflix and a lot of the applications that, uh, that do some kind of uh, video streaming on demand do basically black screen recorders. Uh, I'm not allowing them to record. I don't know if there is a bypass to this uh, in a way, never really checked it, but I'm just kind of mentioning it because I know it doesn't work like that. So yeah, you're not gonna have an easy way of actually recording uh, Netflix if you wanted to. Now, that being said, this is basically how you would record your screen. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.